How to install a suspended track. Always take proper safety precautions, such as wearing protective eyewear and appropriate clothing, and having adequate lighting and secure footing. First, unpack all items and lay out your track sections on the floor. If your track was cut for shipping, we supplied splices to join the sections. After laying out your track sections on the floor, attach any splices to the track. Before starting, identify what kind of ceiling you have. This is a T-bar grid ceiling. This is a drywall or sheetrock or finish ceiling. The installation for both ceiling types is the same, except for the type of fastener needed. For the T-bar grid ceiling, use the pan head screws we've provided. For the drywall or sheetrock or finish ceiling, you will need to purchase toggle bolts at your local home improvement or hardware store. Prepare and assemble your suspension posts. Then lay the track on the floor channel side down and verify your measurements from the corner. The next step is to install your wall brackets. Use a suspension post to determine the proper height of the wall brackets. They should be in line with the track laid out on the floor. Unless you're installing into a stud, be sure to use wall anchors. Once the wall brackets are installed, place the track onto them. Then, use the suspension post to mark their location on the track and the ceiling. Recommended spacing for the suspension posts is 36 to 48 inches apart. Remove the ceiling bracket from the post and install it into the marked space. Now, drill the track for the track bracket, then install the suspension post. Then tighten. Repeat these steps to install the remaining suspension posts. Now that the posts are installed, unsecure the track from one of the wall brackets so that you can load the roller carriers. If you also ordered a curtain with your track, count the number of grommets on the curtain before loading the carriers. Load one carrier for each grommet. The three carriers per foot we supply typically include a few extra rollers for use if you change the curtain at some future date. Once the carriers are loaded, re-secure the track into the wall bracket. The label is always sewn onto the back of the curtain. Before beginning to hang the curtain, choose which side will face which direction. Hang the curtain onto the hooks. If you ordered a tie band, now's the time to install it. To properly pleat your curtain, please see our video on how to hang and dress a curtain. Now you're finished. Congratulations. If you have questions, we're happy to help. Call us at 1-800-725-3266 for assistance.